Hi there, this is Eric for Otoy. In this video, we're going to be working with Octane 308 for Maya, and we'll talk about how to light a scene using a texture, specifically an HDR image. Now, the scene I'm using for this demonstration is the Space Gas Station 01 scene. I will be using an HDR image. Uh, you can download your own HDR images from a number of places online. One place I would recommend is HDRI Haven. So there's tons of HDRs that you can download and use for free in your scenes. It's an excellent site and I highly recommend it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off gamma correction in the viewport so it's not interfering with what we see in Octane. And I'm going to set my renderer to Octane Render. And of course, we don't have any lights in the scene other than the stuff that's on the ground and on the machinery. So I'm going to go to the render settings, Octane Render, and under render settings, I'm going to use the menu next to environment and choose create new. By default, the node that it creates, which is called Octane Sun Sky 1, is going to be set to texture environment and it's going to use a white texture. So we could either use this value or we could add an additional uh, texture we just want to use a flat color, you could add the Octane RGB spectrum texture. But I want to use an image, that's much more interesting. So from the Octane Textures menu, I'm going to choose Octane Image Texture. And then I'm going to click on this folder here in the Attribute Editor for the Octane Image Texture. And for my Source Images folder, I'm going to choose the HDR image. So with this particular image, it's going to be different depending on the HDR image that you're using, but the gamma uh, setting is giving us a very kind of dark lighting, which is not what I want in the scene. So in the uh, attribute editor for the Octane image texture, I'm going to set the gamma to one, and I want to make it a little bit brighter. So let's set the power to two. So it's a little bit brighter in the scene. The next thing I like to do is I like to be able to rotate the image in the scene so I can choose where the light's coming from and how it's being reflected on the surfaces. So to do that, I'm going to go to the projection field right here, click on the checker box to open up the Create Render Node window. And from Create Render Node window, I'm going to use the Octane Spherical Projection. By default, this image is already projected uh, spherically, but by adding this node, I'll be able to control that projection independently. So I'll click on that. Don't see any much of a change yet. Uh, I'm going to go to the transform field in the attribute editor for the Octane Spherical Projection node. Click on this checker box to again open up the Create Render Node window. From the Octane Transform menu, I'm going to choose Octane Rotation Transform. You could also use Transform 3D or Full Transform, but I'm going to keep it simple and use Octane Rotation Transform. Now what I can do is I can use these three fields, which are set to X, Y, and Z, to rotate the image in the scene or rotate the projection. So if I type in 90 here, you can see I'm rotating it, or 10, or minus 10, uh, 180, and so on. Uh, that looks kind of nice. Uh, what I like to do, though, rather than constantly typing in values here, which gets a little bit tedious, uh, I want to create an interactive control. So let's switch briefly to the perspective view. And I'm going to create a locator. And let's move it somewhere where we can see it. So there's my locator or null. And uh, there's a number of ways we can go about making a connection here. I can use the node editor, for instance. So I'm going to go into Windows, Node Editor. You can see here is my locator right here. I'll expand this so you can see the attributes. Let's move the shape node out of the way. And then I'm going to go to Render Settings. Let's choose Environment. And I'm just going to go to the Attribute Editor and just click until I get to that uh, projection node. Or I should say that Transform node. So here's the Transform node in the Attribute Editor. So I can choose Select to select it. And then add the node to the Node Editor. Expand this. Expand Rotation. 
and expand rotation here and I'm just going to choose rotate Y for the locator to rotate Y of rotation transform. You could use the other uh, rotation axes if you want but for the most part I just kind of want to stick to the Y rotation. So let's zoom out here and see what we have. Select my locator, press E for rotate and start to rotate it. Now I have a nice interactive rotation manipulator so I don't have to constantly type in values. It just makes it a little bit more pleasant to work with. So let's move it over here so I can see it. And now choose a nice direction for the light to come from. That's kind of nice right there. So that's the basics of using an HDR image to light a scene as well as how to set up a controller so you can adjust the rotation interactively. And thanks again for watching.